Are you going to conduct doctoral research at the International Max Planck Research School for Intelligent Systems and are about to move to Germany? That's great! Welcome! This video will give you an overview of a few things to think about before you arrive. The first thing to find out is whether or not you will need a visa to enter Germany. By the way, your visa also serves as your work permit at the start of your time in the country. If you are an EU citizen, you benefit from the freedom of movement within the EU and don't have to worry about getting a visa or work permit. If you are a non-EU citizen, you'll probably need a visa to enter. Please contact your nearest German embassy to find out more about the regulations that apply to you. While it is true that some non-EU citizens may enter Germany without a visa, we don't recommend this as it may result in a delay in you being able to start your employment. Another important issue that you have to deal with is finding housing. The housing market in Stuttgart and Tübingen is competitive, and finding suitable housing might end up being one of the biggest challenges you face as you relocate. To help make this process a bit easier, each of our Stuttgart and Tübingen locations has a Max Planck guest house, and our new researchers are often able to stay there while they search for housing locally. Due to the competitive housing market, fraud on the internet is growing fast. The first rule is to never transfer any money to anyone unless you are sure that the apartment you want actually exists and is being rented out by the person you are dealing with. Ask around if you feel uncertain about this. Once you have found an apartment, you will need to register your residence. To do this, you must go to the local city office, or Bürgeramt, within two weeks of moving in. Make sure you bring the form from your landlord, called Wohnungsgeberbescheinigung. Your tax ID is only issued after registering with the Bürgeramt. This tax ID is also needed to open a bank account in Germany. Also, don't forget that all residents must always re-register their address with the Bürgeramt every time they move. If your visa will not cover your entire stay in Germany, you will need to apply for a residence permit at the Immigration Office or Ausländerbehörde. You will need to apply for a residence permit that covers your entire stay in the country. The international offices at either MPIIS or the universities of Stuttgart and Tübingen can help you with preparing all of the necessary documents. You'll need to remember to bring pertinent information with you such as your academic records, legalization documents, a marriage certificate if applicable, and birth certificates for any children you may have. Please be aware that you will need sufficient health insurance coverage for your entire stay in the country. Depending on your type of funding or employment, you may need to take out private or public health insurance. There are many different public health insurance providers, but they all offer approximately the same level of coverage as required by law. Most employees with a working contract take out public health insurance. Private health insurance coverage is not specified by law and may vary in scope. There are many reasons to learn German during your stay, and learning German has many benefits as you will be able to communicate comfortably with local residents. Also, you might decide to remain in Germany and make it your forever home. IMPRSIS is happy to support you in learning German. We even offer cost-free German classes to all of our PhD scholars. The IMPRSIS Coordination Office, in collaboration with the international offices of our partner institutions, is here to help you before, during, and after your relocation to Germany. And if you have any questions, you should never hesitate to contact us. We hope to see you soon. Bis bald!